Hi everyone, I'm John DeShazer, and I'm the design director on Evercore Heroes. And today we have a really cool thing to show, three new heroes. One from each of our roles, a tank, a support, and a damage dealer. And I'm gonna go over each one of them in some detail. So let's get started. Sidian is one of our tanks in Evercore Heroes. It's one of those characters that fulfills all of the classic roles of a tank, a damage mitigation, the ability to taunt, the ability to control some of the enemies and get them off of your allies. But he does it from a far away and with very unique spells. So let's dive into that a little bit. He has his ability to build up a shield. And he passes that shield off to allies. And when he passes that shield off, it will do a taunt and make all of the enemies nearby taunt your ally that has just been given that shield. This is a really unique spin on how to deliver taunt. Sometimes a mechanic that you really need to successfully defeat a certain objective. Additionally, he has some of the most powerful battlefield control through his Q, which allows him to effectively launch a skill shot, travel through enemies damaging them, and then on recast, suck all of them back to the center of the source. And this is a really powerful multi-layered ability, giving you some fun skill shot mechanics, while also pulling enemies to a center point, which is often seen as a really fun way to combo with other allies. So this combination of controlling the battlefield, offering allies damage mitigation, offering yourself some damage mitigation, creating really unique ways to taunt, are all ways in which Sidian still fulfills that role of tank, but does it from afar away through spells, which is really that unique and special offering that he has in the roster. With Sky, we wanted to create a mage with lots of battlefield control. She's a weather mage who can switch between water-based control abilities and lightning-based attacks. She can use her trait to switch between the forms, and every time she does, her spells modify based on which element she is. One water and one lightning. Making her our weather mage. Water form is focused around giving her control elements, while lightning form is there to still give that classic mage punch. We wanted the mastery of weaving between the two forms to really let the great Sky players differentiate themselves and show off. You can see using the Q here, if positioned correctly, can be a very powerful tool in slowing a, a large group of enemies. Another one of the tools is if you use the E in lightning form, it's really great at interrupting powerful enemies and denying their attacks, letting her weave in another element of control. All of these control elements play really well with teammates, setting up great combos and keeping the battlefield easier to navigate, bringing a complexity that is fun while letting her base abilities stay simple. Chef is our very special pairing with the game. We felt it was something special to make our craziest hero in the roster a support with a very unique gameplay style. The fantasy we chase with Chef is quite unique. Players pick between three ingredients and combine them to prepare different dishes. This gives us a combination of six unique dishes, but once you've picked your ingredients, you aren't done. Next, you must cook the food, and we iterated on this quite a bit, and found a simple undercooked, cooked, and burnt loop fit the best. As you are still a hero, dodging attacks, smacking things with your pan, while trying to get the food just right. When you deliver undercooked or burnt food, the benefits are dramatically diminished, but if you nail it, the food is perfect. It isn't too hot, it isn't too cold, and it's just right. You get the most out of it. Each ingredient has a theme associated with it. Q, or honey, is our healing ingredient. W, or chili, is our damaging ingredient. And E, or garlic, is our defensive ingredient. Any pairing of ingredients will match the gameplay of the overarching themes, especially when you do double Q for a really big heal. So you must keep an eye on your cooking UI and listen for the specific sounds to make sure that dish is at that perfect place to then hit your trait key and serve out your food to your teammates. Thank you all for checking out the new characters in Evercore Heroes today. Remember to visit our Evercore Heroes Discord community to share your thoughts on which character you're most excited to play. We can't contain our excitement either as we eagerly anticipate the launch of Evercore Heroes on June 20th. For those who can't wait to jump into the action, we invite you to join our closed beta. Simply head over to evercoreheroes.com, click on the store tab, and grab a Founders Pack to secure your spot. We look forward to playing with each and every one of you. See you in Evercore Heroes.